Well, the wicket here for one degree is normally a good one. You know, um, it may have a bit of bounce early up. In terms of pace, I'm not too sure if it's going to be that quick. You know, maybe a little slow on the slower side. You know, but easy pace and in and in a sense, you know, great, but better for the batsman. Um, Again, we'll see what happens. It's been a quite quite a bit of rain around so, um, yesterday. You know the pitch got wet, and I think we're going on the same strip again. So we'll see what happens in the morning, and you know, hopefully it's, it's a good strip for cricket. Definitely, um, we've been in number one side in the world, and we've also been in number three side in the world. You know, um, you know that speaks for itself. It's just as I said before, we just need to be consistent. You know, we've always been you know crucified for not being consistent in the past, and that's something we're really stressing in the dressing room. I think every time you're looking for improvement, you can see from Johnson Charles, he just crept, crept up the ladder in terms of his banner ranking. We've got him great um, improvement in terms of the individual stats. I just think it's important, as I said before, we just look for small improvements and gradually looking to build up and move up the ranking. It's tough, you know, we've been inconsistent probably for a number of years, you know, um, but we've also had some very, very good performances in between. Um, we've stressed on trying to break the game down as, as much as possible in terms of our batting. You know, we need one of the top four batsmen to bat as deep as possible into the innings. You know, having said that, you know, we've, we've been able to get partnerships. We stress on a 100-run partnership and you know, a couple 50-run partnerships to get, get ourselves to a par total anywhere around 260 in the Caribbean, which we feel is a good total. Um, having said that, we had Marlon getting a very good scoring in kits, you know, taking it deep, you know, basically seeing us through to the end. And we just need one or two other batsmen just to put up their hand and be a little bit more consistent. We had two good starts from, from our openers, you know, and they've shown good progress coming into coming off sorry of Guyana, you know, where we've really struggled as a batting unit. Well, all teams struggle as a batting unit based on the conditions there. So I think it's just important, you know, that for the one in top four batsmen to see it through, you know, and then leave it you now for the middle order to come in and express themselves. That's exactly what it is, you know, two matches, two wins, and as I said before, being consistent and making improvements, you know, um, we can look through the series, we've got Sunil with a five-wicket haul, you know, we haven't gotten 100 yet in this series, so that's one of the boxes we need to tick off. It'd be good to see one of the top four bats we get 100, and not only just 100, but a big 100 in a match winning cause, you know, um, if you can get that, that's definitely signs of improvement. Uh, just take it one game at a time. We've got Australia first to, to contend with. You know, if you beat them, they're basically out of the competition. So we just look to deal with Australia first and head to South Africa afterwards.